everybody. So I just got back from work. And to my surprise, it's Christmas. Let's see what we got. Silver stag. Lots of silver stag. Oh, check this out. Look at that sheet. That's a chef's okay. knife. Good deal on this one because we're constantly looking for a good chef's knife. One that keeps an edge. And it's got an awesome sheath. All right, what else we get? We'll use that tonight. Yeah, leave that out there. I'm definitely using that. Yeah. That one's mine so far. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this looks like the one I accidentally dropped in the ocean. Sorry, Brad. Very, very cool. It's got a little area where you can put your, your finger so you have more control over the knife. Well, it has writing on it. Do not. Oh my <laughs> god! Ah! Brad, you killed me, man! Let me see it. Sarah, do not drop. Oh, 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 oh! This is the exact same one I dropped in the ocean while we were in the Bahamas because I was cutting up a pineapple. That's so funny. I'm going to drop this just because it says that. Oh, you cracked me up. <laughs> Brad, now I'm mad at you. He puts another, the same exact knife, and he puts Robert on there. Mine says Sarah. Remy, hush. Sarah, do not drop Robert to claim Robert's knife so Sarah doesn't touch it. I'm gonna touch it, Brad. I'm gonna touch it. Brad, thank you so much. I know I'm giving you a hard time, but it's just so funny. We so appreciate all your knives and we love them. We use them every single day, no matter what we're doing. So that will come in handy. And no, I'm not taking it on the boat next day. Remy, what is wrong with you? Hush. Okay, so what do we got going on tonight? Okay, so tonight's a big night for us. We have the owners from Ingle Coolers flying in from Chicago to have dinner with us. It's 5.45 and they'll be here in 45 minutes. We still have to fillet the fish. We have to get everything organized. Um, we gotta clean the house up a little bit and start dinner. So we'll see you in 45 minutes. That is a hogfish. A lot of people call them hog snapper, but it's a hogfish. It's actually a member of the wrasse family. And the most common way to catch them is to spear them, which is what we did here. Sarah did, whoop whoop. No, not this one. The small one. The small one, yeah. Look at that, look at that big old mouth. Big old hogfish. And a lot of times you'll see these fish just like that with their mouth open, working the ground, straight up and down, and they're, they're ah, ah, going at it, getting out shrimp and all kinds of little crustaceans. But they are so good to eat. Look how... Tebow. Tebow, hush. Watch how beautiful this meat is. Mm, I mean, snow white. Hot trimmers. And that's such thick meat. Yeah. When you're fillet when you're filleting these hogfish, a nice stiff <laughs> knife works so good. And this is a silver stag that is sold exclusively at Cabela's. I actually just found out about that. But look how beautiful that is. Snow white hogfish. Now, just because we gotta make it quick, I'll show you. Take this. That nice stiff knife, lay it right there. What about bones? Yeah, I'll show you bones. There's the skin, there's that filet. 
Now with almost all of these fish, there'll be a short. Now we, we cut the ribs out. When I filleted the fish, I went around the ribs. That's all ribs. But there will be a short set of pin bones right here. And all you gotta do is just cut down right there. And then right here, just getting the bones. Now, fish food. What you're left with is a beautiful hogfish fillet. Look at that, gorgeous fish. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and knock the sides off the rest of these, but tonight we're gonna be making an amazing dish. But like Sarah said, we're so short on time, so we gotta rush. See you soon. All right, y'all, so here's the deal. We are in full-blown uh, rapid mode right now. I just got done filleting the fish. We got a big old sack of fish. We're just gonna throw this thing together, but check it out. This is gonna be sort of a weird video. It's, I'm actually really stoked to have people from Angle come in. They saw our videos and got in touch with us, and now they're coming to our condo. They wanna see the red walls. They wanna see the cappuccino sign. And I guess they wanna taste the food. But, we're stoked. Thank you all so much. None of these companies, I mean, today Silver Stag sent us a bunch of stuff. Everglades is sending us stuff. Ingles coming here. Who's next? I don't know. But there's none of this would be happening if it weren't for all y'all that have subscribed. And if this is the first video you're watching, please subscribe, be a part of this, because we're growing by leaps and bounds, and I'm so stoked. YouTube is like such a huge part of my life, and I appreciate all of y'all. You're like awesome friends. Please leave a comment, let us know what you think. And I'm gonna start cooking. Sarah's taking a shower right now. She just got off work and it's been like mad around here. The dogs are in timeout because they've been going nuts. Panko breadcrumbs, plenty of it. That is basil, nice, fresh basil. Put it in there. Mushrooms. Uh, these there's oyster mushrooms, uh, baby bellas, and oyster mushrooms. About half a pack. And that is some garlic infused olive oil. But first, we're gonna put this on here. Look at that, you can see all the flavor. That looks beautiful. We're gonna do one other thing. This is what I'm doing. I'm actually leaning this, the, the, the camera up on that and using the butter so it doesn't slide off. Put a little olive oil in it. Good. Just like that. Absolutely, that's what I'm looking, that's the consistency that I'm looking for. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let that sit and I'm gonna start prepping some other stuff. No, Remy, Remy, no. They're so excited for you. Okay. This is a rare occasion, so don't expect it often. No, no. Hey, go put them in the room, please. Come on, Dad. Come on, Come on. Okay, so while Sarah is rapidly cleaning, I'm gonna make the rice. So this is what I've got going on. That is two cups of boiling water. Go ahead. And that couple tablespoons of butter. That is one and a half cups of this Thai ginger broth. In there. We want that to boil, okay? And that is Uncle Ben's just regular white rice. When that comes to boil, we'll put it in. It's coming together. So honey, that weed is getting shot. No! Okay, help me out everybody. I try to I try to get you guys to get on my side on this. That thing was like this prized possession. There's three dollars at Goodwill, and it's beautiful for three dollars. I want to know. Do y'all want to see me shoot Save that thing? Save the plan. 
that? It was up to y'all. Help! I want to shoot that for target practice. Okay, come on. Goodwill, three dollars centerpiece. You can't go wrong. Every Please single time, every me. single time I cook and we have to set this table, I have to get that stupid okay, thing out of the way. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna do a nice, pleasant shot of my plant. Meanie, Mr. Meanie over here. Yeah, Meanie. Well, who's got the hogfish? Yeah. You guys gotta admit, he does look pretty good spiffed up, don't he? Hey, check out the shirt. Who's in the gator hood? Bam! John, thanks so much for the shirt. Okay, so there's our rice. We've got the three and a half cups. Two cups water, one and a half cups of the broth, two tablespoons of butter, and here's our rice. And there you go. All you want to do, once you put it in the pot, stir it around, make it sure it's all even, just like that. Okay, so now that this is boiling, cover it, turn it down to just about a number three. We'll leave that for about 20 minutes. Boom, perfect. Now, we gotta get ready for our salad real quick. So if you guys ever cook dinner and you're in a real rush and you want to make something really, really good, make this salad. This salad, pretty much everybody in the world likes. When you're cooking a dinner like this, you want all the pieces to be about the same size and about the same thickness so they cook at the same speed. That's a beautiful eight ounce portion right there. Right over there. I think someone will be hungry and eat that whole thing. It's huge, honey. Yeah, who cares? Just cut it in half. Because nah, if the people who want small- They're big boys, they're gonna want a lot of food. You don't know if they're boys or girls. Look at that. Look at that knife! That is the sickest nice knife ever. Okay, one, two, three, five. Everglades, chicken and fish. This is the pork fish and chicken wire. You really do not want to over season this fish. But if you are looking for a spice, I've actually just recently really, really started to use a lot of this. But if you want to find a spice that is really good on about everything, this chicken and fish is pretty amazing. Yeah. And it's so good on chicken, too. Oh my god. Like, literally, really good. Good? Now that's done. I mean, that's that's all we did. Okay, put it back in our yearly stash. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. You think <laughs> we're ready for the apocalypse, or what? Let's put these in the bowl. That little cutting board's nice. Oh, it is. I just bought it today. Okay, and now we need some shallots. Hmm, good stuff right there. Cut it in half and then slice it. Good. Do one more. Let me show the hair. What's going on, honey? <clears throat> We're attempting to scare the marketing people from Engel and Paul, the owner. Nice to meet you, James. What's going on, man? We're filming, so I was trying to scare him. How are you? Come on in. Paul, how you doing? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so you guys, this is our shallots. We got shallots, little grape tomatoes. We got a blend of baby bella mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, and shiitake mushrooms. Just like that. We wanted to get high. Then we're gonna bust out some Everglades. Throw that in there. I've heard. But now people are saying it's too hot. I'm like, okay, you guys, you gotta cut it out. You have a, an empty bowl right here. No, I use this. Okay. 
save that one tomato. This is gonna be so good. Let me see it. Okay. We'll just let that sit there and come to life. Now, we're gonna start roasting this corn. A little bit more of this olive oil. I'm gonna replicate this, so that's why I'm watching you, you know? Yeah, that. see? Right there, he's a YouTuber. I cooked for a long time, so. Did you? Many. Normally he lets me see everything. That's I'm like, okay. Many years. That's too awesome. Many, too many to admit. Did you cook in a restaurant or just yeah. for fun? No, oh really? Restaurant. Multiple restaurants. And so the better the ingredient you use, the better product you're gonna come up with at the end of the day. And this is a balsamic glaze. Basically, if you take balsamic vinegar and reduce it by half, it'll turn into a glaze. They've just already done the work for me. When you do that, it causes the sauce to be a little bit sweeter. This is our roasted corn and asparagus. Turn it down low now. Now let's get the fish going. This is a grill pan. Okay, grill pan, turn that sucker on high. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this fish and really, really fast. I'm just gonna try to mark it on both sides and I'm gonna throw it in the oven real quick. All right, y'all down with this? Good. We're just gonna sear it like that. One more. No. Oh, that's a jumbo. We're having fish the fish tank, guys. I hope y'all are hungry. I mean, literally, we're talking very, very fast on both sides. Okay, that's enough. Hot, hot, hot. This is not Oh, no. This is our breadcrumb mixture. I was practicing in the back with the yellow yeah. pole spear. In the, in the back. In the, no, no, no. In the back, in the canal. And, um, and he's like, just shoot one of those mullet practice, you know? Shoot so I load a mullet. Oh. So I load up and I let go and I let go of everything and went Phew, right down. I'm like, honey, you gotta die for that because I can't do it. Robin, have you seen the news? Um, Thing that's selling it's like yeah, it's something for the what is that? I always get the sling, the mm -hmm. wine sling. Mm -hmm. Was it a pulse spear? What's it? Not wine sling, where you shoot out a piece of metal. They've got a new fancy thing that you hold in a different way, and it's a. I'm not all about the fancy stuff. It's even you can touch a real tip. Really? A little line reel on it. Yeah, so when you shoot, when you hit a big grouper or something, that's like 50 sure. feet. So I take it as stressed about snakes and either one of your eyes. Losing yeah. everything. <laughs> you can still swim to the surface. Yeah, I, I'm sure that would be good. Okay, so once we put that in the oven, I'm going to let that sit for about seven minutes, maybe. That's good. Make sure all that's off. This is good. All right, coming out of the oven, looks like that. Shut that thing up. Uh, this fish was just out feeding in the sea fans, you know, and that you know how they have like the sea fans, little mm. patch reefs. And you just pretend. I'm surprised Rob let me attempt it. She didn't even see it. I'm like, see that red? Get another spear. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, that's me. Where? Right there. You're looking at them. Well, they're, they're masters in the sea fans. They right? are. They put that fin up and they just change color and then it looks just like a sea fan. It's fascinating. So they, it's like 50 million different fish, but they all kind of look alike, you know? Really? Yeah. yeah. Because, I said, I've been seeing I mean, sheep's head down there. For the kids, it's yeah. right. They're, they're, they're just hanging out, picking on the... As you get whatever closer, they often just of get sideways on the Yeah. Yep. Really? And he's catching these. He's He'll just go sideways on you and go into full camouflage mode. They're up. You he, can, he's I mean, not lying. You can literally go up and almost touch it. 
you know, and it's just like you can't see it, and you, can, you just can't see it, unless you had your eye on it originally. I can tell you I've swung past hundreds of hogfish that you should never see. <laughs> that was good. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, this is pretty cool. I get a call from Paul this morning saying, hey, why don't you come meet up with us, you know, have a drink, talk with everybody. I'm like, forget that, man. Come to the condo, we've got some fresh hogfish, and uh, let's cook. So we're all here. This is the place where we have a good time, and this is our life. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the way it is. Uh, if you're ever in town, give me a call and you'll probably be sitting in this condo too. Hundreds have before. Okay, so James, tell us what you thought. Well, I mean, seriously. It was so good. It was really fantastic. You're such a marketing <laughs> genius. I've never had... <laughs> What's the fish name again? Hogfish. Hogfish in my life. Well, you got the cinnamon sugar butter. Mm, that sounds good. Deadly, deadly. I'm stuck on the butter. <laughs> man. Paul, so what do you think, man? Good as ever, man. The trick, you undercooked it beautifully. If you overcook a fish, yeah. throw it out. Good deal. Uh, no, you guys might not know this, but these things eat shrimp. The little lobsters, mostly shrimp, all day long. And uh, the meat tastes kind of sort of like lobster. Yeah. Although I shouldn't be saying that because more people are going to want to eat hogfish. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. They're so hard to spear. All right, so what's up, everybody? Last night was insane. Had all the guys from Ingle over, Paul and a bunch of the other guys from up in Chicago. They came over and had dinner. See, here recently I've been using my Ingles in a, in a few of our videos. and uh, They got back, got back to them. They came over for dinner, and, and we got to talk about it. But I want to show you guys a few of the reasons I like these angle coolers. You know, I'm on a boat, my, it's always rough, things are knocking into them, you're throwing fish into them, and you got to keep ice a long time. If you can't keep ice, you can't keep your fish cold. And that's the very most important part about having a good cooler, is you're able to keep ice for a long time. You're not constantly re-icing. You know, I've had a, I got a big snapper in there that's been in there for a couple of days. Well, today I want to flay it. Hopefully, when I open this up, he's still covered up in ice real nice, real nice and cold. Um, but they have great latches. They're super durable. They're insulated. They last. I mean, I've had this Ingle cooler right here for like three years now, and you can't even tell it's not brand new. So if you're looking for a cooler, the Ingles are top notch. They're well built. They keep ice. and. I trust them. I use them all the time. So let's check this snapper out. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Big old Cabrera snapper. Awesome fish. These coolers have gasket that lays on top of this ridge right here. When you shut it, latch it down. It's very easy to latch. Airtight. This is a non-stick or a non-skid pad so you can stand on it. Really tough corners. The handles never go anywhere. You can undo your drain plug, let all your all your water out at the bottom, and it's vent it's angled in the bottom so all the water will run out and you're not left with any residual water to get smelly. But most important thing is that it keeps your fish, keeps your ice cold at last. And that's good. All right, so just so y'all know, I don't, I don't ever talk about a product that I don't personally truly believe in and like, and I really trust and like the angle coolers. Thanks so much for watching. 
I'm going out sword fishing tonight off of Palm Beach. And hopefully we catch one. I will have the camera and we'll see what happens. See you guys next time.